guys, this is Houston from Royal Tanks Auto Cars. Mario and I, along with AJ behind us, are taking a drive up to Mount Charleston. Now, this is a cool destination here in Las Vegas. It's about 40 miles from our office. Now, what makes this place special is the fact that it's got some twisty, windy roads all the way up a mountain. That's pretty rare for the desert. So, especially only 30 miles or 40 miles away. We're going up here right now, and we're gonna check out a couple of little spots to see, take some pictures, and also check out a lodge. So I heard there was a really good restaurant in the lodge that we could maybe take a quick bite to eat for a break or just a time to take some time with the car, really appreciate what we're driving today. What we're driving is the McLaren 720S. It's one of my favorite cars at the office because it's so versatile and it's so strikingly modern and it, it looks it just looks like something from the future to me when i first laid eyes on this car i actually thought it was a concept car i really didn't expect mclaren to come out with something so drastically different from the 650 to replace it it's really unusual for a manufacturer to do something like that so when i saw the car I thought, yeah, maybe that's going to be something for 2025. And then I called my local McLaren dealer, and they said, no, we can order those. Do you want one? And I said, absolutely. And uh, we ordered them. A few months later, the car showed up. And I expected, well, I didn't have any expectations, to be honest with you, because it looked so different. I was like, oh, maybe they changed a lot. And let me tell you, they really did. This car is so much more comfortable, and so much more comfortable, and not only just the seat position, but the suspension, the visibility, down to the, the ergonomics of the buttons here, you can use everything way better than you did in the 650S. Not only that, but it's much faster. I mean, much faster. Jesse and I actually drag raced the Bugatti and the 720. And yeah, I did win in the Bugatti, but not by a massive margin, like most other supercars would lose to that car. Uh, this car's really surprising. So. The only small, tiny little bit that I just really don't understand why McLaren can't fix is the sound. These are very quiet cars in general. Now, I've ordered a upgraded exhaust that should be here soon. It should help us a little bit, but it's not as loud as I want it to be. And it doesn't have a very exotic sound. When you compare that to the Aventador or the Huracan or something like just in this lead, right? Those cars sound crazy. You know, they're loud, they're obnoxious. You hear them coming from miles away. This car is sleek and smooth and just just fits right into the gaps. So, you know, those are those are all really great features of a car that the Lambos and Ferraris don't have. I mean, down to the, the just the suspension, all the settings, all the little buttons you push. There's so much usability here. The, the car is just unique. And that's why McLaren is really putting its name down in the hypercar and supercar space. So we're gonna test the limits. We're gonna take it up to Mount Charleston and we're gonna see if this car can really do what it says. We'll see you guys soon. What's up guys? We made it to the top of the mountain. We're here at the Mount Charleston Lodge. AJ and I are gonna go in and get some hot chocolate, but I did wanna let you in on a little secret. It's a lot colder up here <laughs> than, than I expected. So if you're gonna come up to Mount Charleston, please bring a jacket.